Taking the rap, Donald Trump has a bizarre encounter with Kanye West as he blames investors for the ongoing instability on world share markets. Also tonight, Me Too. Labor backs the coalition's tax cuts for small and medium businesses. Battered and bruised, a Queensland mother shields her baby after becoming trapped in a violent hailstorm. And a surprise letter from the palace raises the morale of drought-affected wool growers. Yeah, I opened it up and sort of got a bit of a surprise and yeah, it's a letter from the prince himself, Prince Charles. Good evening, Ian Henderson with ABC News. Now, let's have another go at this. The Australian stock market has struggled into the black today despite another sea of red ink on Wall Street. However, after a week in which world markets have lost trillions of dollars, no one thinks the worst is over. Andrew Robertson reports. Well, as you may have noticed, we made a bit of news of our own last night for all the wrong reasons. Seven minutes into what was to have been my final bulletin, a catastrophic technical failure blacked out our studios for several hours. So I'm back for an encore performance tonight. And we'd like to say sorry for the confusion and lack of an explanation last night. Everyone was really scrambling to try to figure out what had gone wrong. Our technicians have assured us tonight's bulletin is safe, so thank you for tuning in. Fire engulfed a gas cylinder business in Melbourne's eastern suburbs this afternoon. One man was injured and, as James Hancock reports, exploding gas bottles caused the roof of the factory to collapse. The game's tonight and Ebden's opponent is Croatia's Borna Cioric. If he wins, he'll rise to a career-high 31st in the world rankings. And now with the weather, Paul Higgins. And Ian, it would have been a beautiful day for playing golf if only things had gone to plan. Anyway, plenty of time for that after tonight. It dropped to minus two at Falls Creek and Mount Hotham early today. They even had a dusting of spring snow the night before. On Sunday, mostly sunny and not too cool for the Melbourne Marathoners in the morning. A fresh northeast wind. Monday, a possible shower, 25. Tuesday, showers and possibly even thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening, 24. Wednesday, late showers, 24. Thursday, a clearing day. And on Friday, it'll be fine with a high of 27. And one more forecast tonight. A long and happy retirement for our Hendo. Ian, since you announced you were leaving, the accolades have been pouring in. It just goes to show how much a part of everyone's lives you've become. Along with all of your colleagues here at ABC News, I'll miss your camaraderie, your wisdom, your guiding hand in the newsroom, your eloquence, your wit, and your fierce advocacy for journalistic standards. And so we farewell you with our heartiest good wishes and a little reminder of some of the highlights of your career. OK, what have we got to rehoist? Some days you feel really good, some days you don't feel quite so good, but generally now, uh, I think I know my audience pretty well and I'm really, really happy to be talking to them. Ian Henderson in the Melbourne newsroom. Talks are continuing on the GST amid claims the Democrats are split on the issue. Good evening, Ian Henderson with ABC News. I was based in London and we went to Germany, to Greece, to Russia, all over the place. Despite the empty champagne bottles, the presence of so many troops and water cannon here on the eastern side of the Brandenburg Gate was a sobering reminder of political realities. Jubilant crowds gathered here outside Winnie Mandela's home for the fourth day running, hoping to give her husband the welcome home for which he's waited nearly 30 years. The emotion of the commitment was undoubted. The test of the commitment is yet to come. At the end of day two, stubborn differences still divide the two superpowers. It's an historic and a highly emotional moment. For practical purposes, the Berlin Wall has been all but torn down. Crossing which in the past has claimed the lives of hundreds can now be made safely by joyous tens of thousands. Listen up, you lot. It's not all fun and games. This bit's serious. Melbourne's weather tomorrow? I've forgotten. In the studios of the ABC, but believe you me. <laughs> Thank you, Edward. Well, you've got to remember, at the other end of that lens is a nice, friendly person there who's looking at you, just trying okay. to get the best shot out of you. A little bit of personality doesn't hurt, okay. so give it a bit of warmth. He was furious to read a newspaper report suggesting he'd cheated on his wife. What was going on behind me there? It's currently 15 degrees in the city. Back with more news at 6 o'clock. Remember, this is your ABC, so have a great day. Very well done. I feel threatened. <laughs> 
Very flattering and just a little embarrassing, those haircuts. Uh, and that's it for this evening's program. And for me, the end of a long and happy stint at the ABC. Thank you for all your kind and thoughtful messages over the past fortnight and for welcoming, welcoming me into your homes all these years. It has been a rare privilege and a real pleasure. Over the years, we've experienced the highs and lows of live television together, of which last night was certainly one. But from tomorrow night, I join you on the other side of the TV screen, and I'm very much looking forward to getting my news from the talent, my talented colleagues, Tamara O'Dine and Mary Gearan. Indeed, I'd, I'd like to thank all my colleagues, both behind the scenes and in front of the camera, whose hard work and diligence makes all this magic possible. To all of you, travel well, and should our paths cross down the track, make sure you say hello. For now, my best wishes and good night. <laughs>